All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com and welcome to episode number two of Portraits Around the World. Now, if you're just now joining me on the Portraits Around the World project, first off, thank you and welcome. Uh, but you probably want to catch up on episode one and you probably don't know what Portraits Around the World is. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of links up on the screen. If you need to find out what Portraits Around the World is and how I came up with the idea, go to findingmiddleearth.com forward slash portraits around the world. Um, and then if you want to catch up on episode number one, uh, which I posted last week, then go to uh, findingmiddleearth.com forward slash China, which was the uh, first uh, photo in the series. So again, this is episode two. Welcome. I'm very excited to uh, keep these photos coming out. I'm going to open up my computer here and pull up the photo. I'll go ahead and throw the photo up on screen as well. Um, okay, so this one was uh, in, in Epcot, obviously, the World Showcase, and this was Disney's uh, version of the United Kingdom. Now, this employee was from York, England, and his name was Harry. Now, uh, if you're a nerd like me and um, you think Harry and you think England, or you at least think Harry and you think a British accent... Uh, you probably think Harry Potter. So right when I saw his name and, and uh, uh, you know, I, I used the same strategy. If you watched episode one, uh, you heard me talk a lot about how I kind of, you know, strategized picking the people. Well, he he kind of fit, um, you know, all the credentials for me. He had a very, you know, nice uh, air about him. He was very helpful and friendly to the customers. He had a nice smile. So um, he just looked like a, a very nice person in general. So I ended up going up to him, um, and it was pretty easy to talk to him, actually, because the one of the shops in the United Kingdom, um, they're, they're just so small, and everyone's kind of packed in them, and so you're kind of forced to talk to them, because, I mean, almost, you know, everywhere you go and look is, like, right around this cash register, and that's where he was at. He was behind this this big counter where the cash register was, and, and all the product is kind of lined around the cash register. So before I even went up to him, he'd already asked me, you know, if I was having a good day, if I was having fun at Disney, and so I ended up asking him, I said, you know, the, the same thing that I asked most of them. I said, you know, how, how long have, have you worked for Disney? How long have you been here? He ended up telling me he, he had been on uh, his internship now for, uh, I think he said nine months, um, which is a pretty long internship. Most of them said they were here for like three months or uh, just a few months, and then they were going to go back to their home country. But he was on his ninth month, so um, he said he really enjoyed it, and, and it was great fun to be in America and especially be in Disney World every day. And so um, I got a little, you know, we, we kind of hit it off because I, I just, I noticed that he was a fan of Star Wars stuff. Um, and that was just through some funny conversation. But we started talking about Star Wars and I told him, yeah, I also love, you know, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. And then I, he noticed I had a camera. And so I told him, well, yeah, I'm actually going around the countries doing these, these photos or I'm taking pictures of everyone from these different countries. Um, and so then I said, you know, do you mind if I, if I take your, your picture. And so what was so funny and strange about this particular conversation um, with him is that, like I told you, he, you know, everyone he was talking to, and even when he was talking to me, he had like the biggest smile and this like outgoing bubbly personality. And then when I said, can I take your picture? He was more than willing, you know, he was super cool, but he, uh, he just didn't really know what to do. He, he kind of froze. I mean, he wasn't smiling. He, uh, for lack of a better term, he kind of looked constipated. I mean, he, just, he looked very uncomfortable on camera. Um, so I, I took a couple and I said, hey, um, uh, you know, I kind of told a little white lie, if you will. And I said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get my lighting right. It's not, it's not turning out good. Can you just, you know, can you just turn this way for me? So I, even though it, I mean, I wasn't really lying. I mean, it, there was, there, it, it was really bad lighting in there, but I just, I wanted to give myself a couple more tries to see if he could smile. Cause he, I'll, I'll show you one of the pictures on screen. It was like, he was like kind of talking to me in the middle and he didn't, he wasn't really smiling. So eventually I said, I kind of, I had my camera to my fear. I'll show you what I was doing. I, I had my camera right here and I was kind of, you know, talking. It was like, Hey, you know, you mind moving here? And I had my camera to my face and, and I had one eye open and one eye through the viewfinder. And I said, Hey, are you, are you a Harry Potter fan by chance? You know, your name's Harry. And he started laughing and, and, uh, and I said, well, you know, this is maybe, maybe a very nerdy stereotypical request, but can you say Harry Potter for me? Cause I love your accent. And he went, uh, yeah, Harry Potter. And boom, I snapped like three shots. And right when he, right when I asked him to say Harry Potter, 
he thought it was so funny that I would ask that, that he actually gave me this kind of smirky smile. So it wasn't even like a big smile. It was kind of a, you know, I can't believe you just asked me that, which, which was great. So I got personality out of him, which is what I like to do. Um, so that was kind of a cool situation. So anyway, that's how uh, that photo came about. It uh, turned out very cool. You know, I, I liked the, the pose that he gave was, you know, very, um, it was very English, I guess you could say. He was, he was, he tried to be very proper. He was very, you know, proper and enunciated very well. He had this great accent. And the second that I asked him to say Harry Potter is when he just kind of smirked and gave me that cool little half smile that was kind of a, you know, I can't believe you're doing this. You're, you're a really big nerd. So I got the photo. It was a cool shot. Um, like I said, I promised I was gonna make these videos quick from now on since I'm just giving you a kind of this, how the scenario went down. But this one was pretty easy, um, other than the getting him to smile because he was already very friendly and talkative. I didn't have to go up and you know make a bunch of conversation like I did with last week's photo. Um, and he spoke very good English, unlike uh, last week's photo in China. It was very hard to communicate. So this one was much easier, very fun, and yet another cool photo in the bag. So if you guys have any questions at all on um, gear or uh, camera settings, if you care about that, or any other questions about me or Harry or whatever, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to uh, keep watching these Portraits Around the World videos, there will be uh, quite a few more episodes before the series is done, then please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.